Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Twister again, um, making another weekly video, and I guess I'm going to tell you how and some of what I did this week, since I have nothing else planned for a video, and my wife came up with this idea, and I'm going to test it out, because I think it's a really good idea, and I like it, and as you can see, my hair is all messy, because I got my father's hair which is wavy and um, well I can't do nothing with it because it's just how it is so today I went to Walmart to try to get Pokemon uh, what is it Omega Omega Ruby because I already have Alpha Sapphire if you've seen my video on uh, the midnight launch of Pokemon you know that I got my wife, Alpha Saf uh no. I got me, Alpha Sapphire, and her, Omega Ruby. I'm probably saying that wrong. And if I am, I'm sorry, because um, I get them confused. Because it's just how it is. Um, I wanted to get another one, because I got her the other one that she didn't have. And I want to get me another one, because we've made this agreement that... We are not going to delete the original ones that we have because, uh, well, we decided to keep the games and we've already played through them and did uh, the, the first part of the game and then the bonus part of the game afterwards, which was really cool. I liked it. The second quest was a little disappointing because it was really short and just kind of, and it was more about getting couple legendary Pokemons and that was about it it didn't really have as good a plot as the original game of course anybody that played Pokemon knows how the plots of those games go so okay but Walmart didn't have it because they were sold out so tomorrow I'm going to try to go to the Walmart near my parents and see about getting it there hopefully they'll have it if not I'll wait and then try, and if it all fails and everything horribly, I'll just order it online and have it shipped here because we're having Christmassy stuff shipped here anyway, like lights and Christmas balls, and I think the thing's called a kissing ball. You're supposed to put it above you, and every time you walk, it's like mistletoe. tell you every time you step underneath it, you're supposed to kiss or something. I don't know. Of course, that might not be the name of it. I don't know. Um, I just think that's what it's called. Uh, we got a Christmas tree and everything, uh, cause we, cause we ha don't normally do Christmas because, um, when I first met my wife, when we was dating, she lost a very close personal friend of hers, and that kind of turned her off on Christmas, and three years, almost four years later, cause it's been over three and a half years, I guess, close enough to three, and, over three and a half We've decided uh, to move on because I never really liked Christmas in the past because I lost my grandparents around Christmas um, some years ago and I've never really been a big fan of Christmas myself here lately but I figured that if we try to do Christmas now and we both try to enjoy the season for what it is a time for family and friends and all that good stuff um, maybe we can get past it, and Christmas will be awesomeness. Is that, uh, yeah, awesomeness. And so, we still have a bunch of stuff coming out. Uh, she got herself a new purse, something called a hobo purse. I don't know exactly what all that's about. It's just a hobo purse. And, see, I'm trying to come up with some good stuff to decorate for Christmas stuff, like some signs that says Happy Holidays or something. I know this is January and Christmas is way off, but I'm trying to come up with ideals to make Christmas a little bit more Christmassy. I don't know. Um, I went to Subway today to get some subs, and we tried to order the subs online, which was kind of cool, because I walk in, told them, and walked out, and it was quick. Because anybody that's been to a subway knows that subway isn't necessarily all that quick. Um, of course, they wasn't busy. Everybody was sitting around enjoying dinner or lunch or whatever they was enjoying. 
that there was nobody in the bar. They was all just chilled out. Um, let's see. Uh, I added oil to my car, which is a weekly thing I gotta do because I threw a timing belt some years ago and probably bent a rod or two or six, I don't know. And we put a timing belt on it. My dad just let it go since it cranked and there was no other problems. And it runs, it runs rough. And I'm gonna have to either replace the entire head or have a machine shop replace the guys and all that good stuff. And put all that in it, or buy a complete head and put gaskets and everything, and make it. And it will probably run better. Of course, the car has 185,000 something miles on it, so and it's 10 years old. Yeah, no, 11 years old because it's an 03. Yeah, going on 12. Ha! -ha. I can do math sometimes. Um. So I got to do that, and maybe we can make more trips down to uh, see our family when that gets fixed. And it's going to cost between six and eight hundred dollars, and that's including gaskets and everything, depending on which route I go. Which I'm going to try to call um, Gosnell's, which is a junkyardish kind of place where I'm going to try to get a uh, head from them. And. and replace it or I may just get a new, a new one from the auto parts um which yeah uh because replacing the engine in my car with a rebuilt refurbished uh engine is going to cost $2,500 I'm trying to avoid having to do all that because that would really suck and, um, Fat Man called me today, um, because I wanted to put a CB in the car, because I also want to get into ham radio, but I'm kind of lazy to study for the test and everything, which I really got to get off my butt and start studying, because I've been wanting to do ham radio since 97, and it was really hard to do it originally, and now they got it a lot simpler, and kids, and elementary school can do it now. So I figure I can do it, maybe, who knows. Um, so I want to get a ham radio, I want to get a CEB. Um, idea. Your ideal. I already said your ideal. No, you didn't. You said I had one and you liked it, but you never did tell them what it was. Oh. And my fiance, wife, I, there I go again. See, I screwed that up. We just recently got married and I just screwed that up. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, um, where was I? Oh, she had the idea of me telling you how my day went. I don't know if I'm going to be doing daily vlogs, I guess is what they're called. Or just do it like once a week, like on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I don't know yet. But I'm going to try to do that, just see how it goes. And if I like it, maybe I'll, you know... Do it every day, and tomorrow I work, which is not, uh, um, what was I going to say, is, uh, not normally a day I work, but I did work, um, so that I can, um, uh, Make some extra money for the family, and so I got to work, so I'm getting ready to go to bed, and this is my Sunday video. Um, I hope you all thumbs this up, uh, make comments, if you don't thumb it up, at least thumb it down, and in the comments let me know what I need to do to improve this. Uh, I'm sorry that this is a quick video, but... I waited to the last minute, of course, as normal to make these kind of things because I'm relatively lazy and I need to step it up a little bit. Like, I need to step up the whole exercise thing because I need to exercise, but I'm lazy. Um, so, uh, again, thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you don't like, leave a comment. 
thank you and have a great night. Or something.